Ever wonder how geckos and other animals managed to pull this off? So did the military. The tiny reptiles inspired the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to make soldiers look more like superheroes, or at least one superhero in particular. The ability to climb walls, no matter how slick, would pose advantages to a lot more than Spider-Man. This month, DARPA showed off the results of a 2009 grant to University of Massachusetts and Draper Laboratory researchers, who developed what they called Gek Skin, revealed back in 2012. In the June test, a 218-pound man carrying an extra 50 pounds climbed two and a half stories straight up a glass surface using nothing but gecko-inspired paddles. While he wore a safety belt, DARPA said he didn't need it. How does it work? Gecko toes are covered with hundreds of thousands or even millions of microscopic hairs called setae. Normally weak, molecular interactions called van der Waals forces get multiplied that many times and give an intensely strong grip. The researchers at UMass Amherst believed it wasn't just the gecko's toes doing the work, but the whole structure of the foot, so they mimicked it. This allows the pad to drape over a surface to maximize contact. Further, as in natural gecko feet, the fabric is woven into a synthetic tendon yielding a design that maintains stiffness and rotational freedom. DARPA points out the development could be huge for soldiers who ideally try for the high ground whenever they can get it, but warfare is rarely ideal and ropes and ladders haven't developed much in thousands of years. They also only allow for sequential climbing, whereby the first climber often takes the highest risk. No word yet on whether the labs have mastered the spiderweb slinging feature to swing from building to building, but DARPA says the research for climbing is ongoing. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.